Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be testing the MBX5040 from Nemo Labs by running a program with a very long runtime. It's one of my old favorites, the Aztec Calendar. The file for the Aztec Calendar has been floating around the internet for years. I don't know exactly when it first appeared, but I ran my first Aztec Calendar way back in 2007 and have ran several over the years. People just love all the detail in the Aztec Calendar, so when you run one and you show it to them, they want one. I believe the popularity of the Aztec Calendar has died down some, but some people have done kind of a takeoff of the Aztec Calendar by using Star Wars characters and Marvel comic characters like the Hulk. For this V-Carp toolpath part of the project, I'm going to be using a 1 quarter inch diameter 60 degree V-bit. I've used this bit many times before and it always gives me lots of good de detail. I have the feed rate set to 150 inches per minute. The plunge rate is 25 inches per minute and I have the manual dial on the router set on 3, so I don't know what exactly what RPM I'm running, but I would guess that it's somewhere around 14 to 18,000 RPM. As I was editing this video, I got an email from Nemo Labs, and they sent me this chart, so I guess I was pretty close to guessing the RPM range. Looks like I'm running about 14,000 RPM, plus or minus 10%. At this point in the video, it looks like this toolpath has been running 2 hours and 38 minutes and is 71% completed. As I watch this program run, I think I could have set the plunge rate much faster and it would have cut down on the cycle time. As you can see from the video, there are lots and lots of z-axis moves up and down, which is why this program takes so long to run. I googled Aztec calendar to see what would pop up and I found this picture of what they're calling the Aztec Sunstone. It is in the National Anthropology Museum in Mexico City, Mexico. The Nemo Labs 5040 CNC has now been running 3 hours and 36 minutes and the controller is showing that this toolpath is 97% complete. We're heading into the home stretch. Here is another drawing that I found on AzTechCalendar.com and it explains what all the different symbols on the calendar mean. Finally, the VCARP toolpath is finished and the runtime was 4 hours and 1 minute. I'll change the bit and re-zero the Z-axis to cut this out. My material is 3 quarter inches thick, but I don't want to cut all the way through and cut into the spoil board. So I'll just cut down to 0.7 hundredths of an inch and cut the rest of it out on my bandsaw. After cutting it out with the bandsaw, I put in a 3 8 inch flush trim bit with a bearing and trimmed off the remaining material. So how did it turn out? I think it looks amazing. The NBX5040 from Nemo Labs ran this 4 hour plus project without missing a beat. If you would like to check out this CNC or any other products from Nemo Labs, I have a link to their website down below in the video description. If you would like to see my other videos about this Nemo Lab CNC, Check out the playlist link down below in the video description. If you would like to purchase one of these machines and help support my channel, please use the Amazon affiliate links down below in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. And until the next one, thank you very much for watching.